Hey, this is Rick Casalj, injury specialist from exercisesforinjuries.com. In today's video, I wanted to go through how to stretch your quads if you have knee pain. And the key thing ends up being focusing on the hip. So I'm gonna go through two exercises and Jenna's gonna demonstrate them and I'll kinda highlight the key things. So the first one ends up being a standing hip flexor stretch. So you're taking a big step forward, you're, uh, you're flat in the front foot, bent in the knee, you're on the back toe, you're slight bend in the knee, you're gonna tighten up the abdominal area and you bring the hips forward and you're gonna focus in on, it ends up being hip flexor, but it also carries on into the knee. And then I'll get you to face that way, Jenna, so she can see. Good, so you can take a step forward or you can end up taking a step back and flatten the front foot, ankle bent, knee bent, hip bent. You're on the back toe. This knee is soft, tightening up the abdominal area and glutes, bring the hips forward. And then you'll feel in the hip, but you'll also end up getting a quad stretch. Because a lot of times people with knee pain, they can't do the traditional uh, knee stretches. So we need to find ways that they can get benefit from the exercises, but not irritate their knee pain. And the one to do ends up being a standing hip flexor stretch. When it comes to sets, reps, time and intensity, sets end up being one, repetitions end up being two, time ends up being 20 seconds, and the intensity ends up being light. You're looking for a light stretch in that hip, which carries on to the quads. So that ends up being the first exercise. Now going through the second one, we're doing a knee at 90 and bringing the leg back. So you're lying on your side, you're gonna, you're gonna bend the knee to 90 and then you're gonna bring that knee back. And once again, you're gonna end up feeling it in the hip, but then also in that quad area. And you're really trying to use the glutes and the hamstring to bring that back and feeling it that stretch in the quad and in the hips, perfect. And then we'll face the camera to kind of demonstrate it again. So lying on the side, trying to keep the hips stacked, bending at the knee, and then using the glutes in your hamstrings to bring that knee back in order to stretch the front of the hip, and then also end up carrying it into the, the thigh. Now, if you can't bend the knee to 90, that's fine if you end up only end up bending it 30 degrees or 45 degrees. Perfect, thank you, Jenna. When it comes to sets, reps, time, and intensity, uh, you're gonna end up doing uh, one set, two repetitions, I, I suggest uh, on each side. You can alternate or you can stay on the same side and just go through two repetitions. Uh, time ends up being, you're holding for about 20 seconds and the intensity ends up being light. You're looking for a light stretch in that hip area that carries on to the, into the quads. So there you go, give those two stretches a go if you end up having knee pain. Now, if you want some of my other best tips and tricks when it relates to knee pain, then what I recommend you do is click right here. I have a brand new free report called Five Tricks That Fight Knee Pain and Tightness. Just click right here, let me know where to send that report and I'll send you that report right away. Now, if you're watching this on a mobile device, tablet, smartphone, head down below in the description and click the first link, which will end up being exercisesforinjuries.com forward slash knees. Let me know where to send that report and I'll send you that report right away. Now, if you got benefit from this video, make sure to like this video. If you have a question or comment for me, leave it down below in the comments section. And then lastly, hit subscribe to get future pain relieving videos.